Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Hubby and I just had breakfast and so I thought let me hurry up and get this in uh, so that it's not lacking. Let me get this of course once again. It is, what's today? Wednesday? Wednesday, November the 9th. Our devotions are coming from Joanna Weaver's book called At the Feet of Jesus. And our opening scripture is one of my favorites out of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Or I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can't do this, Lord. I'm so undisciplined, I complained to God not long ago. As I shut my laptop and listed all the reasons he'd chosen the wrong person to write a book. The Lord was patient at first, bringing scripture after scripture to my heart, reminding me that he would help me. But one day he finally got tired of my unending litany of reasons why I couldn't. Let me get this straight, I felt God whisper to my heart. Although I spoke the universe into existence and hung the stars in space, even though I promised to help you when you said yes to my call, and even though you've cleared your life and made time to write this book, you still keep saying you can't do it? Well, that hit home. I started to squirm, but I could tell he was just warming up. What you're really telling me, the Lord said, is that you're the omnipotent one around here. Because no matter how much I help you, no matter how willing I am to give you the words <laughs> and the ability to write, you just know you'll find some way to mess it all up. Well, yes, that was pretty much what I was saying. Only it sounded so ugly and prideful the way he put it not nearly as humble and desperately pious as I felt. And with that rebuke, there finally came a deep inner breaking. Rather than humbling myself, I had actually been exalting myself against God, telling the Almighty what he could and could not do, focusing on my inadequacies rather than on his all-sufficient and power, his all-sufficiency and power. No wonder God was offended. Now we're going to read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 for our reflection scripture. Write this verse on a card and repeat it often, asking God to increase your faith. Now I'm going to write that down in my prayer journal, but let's get there because I know that Hebrews 11 is the faith chapter. Okay. I hope everyone's having a great day. Our vacation has just been fantastic. Hebrews 11, 6, and it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. We really need to be reminded that God wants to bless us, that when we sincerely seek him, he will reward us. And he can't lie. Hebrews 6.18. Let's just go down. <laughs> uh, even though God had told him Isaac is the son. Was it Hebrews? Oh, no, I'm on Hebrews 11. Hebrews 6.18. It's impossible for God to lie. So if he says he rewards those who diligently seek him, guess what? You diligently seek him, you're going to get rewarded. You can take God at his word. Write that scripture down. Hebrews 11.6. Isn't that right? Yeah, it is impossible to please God without faith. Let's pray. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word today. We know that we don't have to rely on our own inadequacies, but help build our faith, oh God, that to believe you for the help we need. Because with you, we can do anything. We thank you again for your promise. Help us to see what we need to see, to hear what we need to hear, and increase our faith to believe you for what you're leading us to. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you again for spending a little time with me. I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. And come back and check out some of the other fun content I have on my channel. Right now, we're somewhere in Alabama. We're actually at a Cracker Barrel in Alabama. Had a wonderful breakfast, headed to Georgia. God bless you and bye until next time.